Well, folks, we just got the biggest Hearthstone announcement ever, and it's frankly not even close. We've got a new class in Death Knight. We've got a new expansion, March of the Lich King. We've got a bunch of new cards. We've got new keywords. We've got a new minion type in Undead. We've got a crazy new like event system. We've got a neutral legendary spell that's in the game right now. If you log in and as you might be able to tell, this video is going to be a little bit hectic. I'm going to do my best to cover all the highlights here by running through this announcement post. I'm going to have more detail on both Death Knight and card reviews in future videos. We're just going to scrape the surface here for Death Knight and card reviews, but stay tuned for videos. This one's more about the news. So kicking it off, announcing March of the Lich King, Hearthstone's next expansion you absolutely need to go watch this trailer if you haven't yet it's insanely good i'll link this post below so you can go find it but yes the lich king returns and with him of course is a new class death knight here is the hero power for death knight it's ghoul charge summon a 1-1 one -one ghoul with charge it dies at the end of the turn so you can trade it in you can chip a little face damage and Minion deaths in particular are important for Death Knight because they have a secondary currency. They have what are called corpses. They're gonna be stacking up throughout the course of the game. It doesn't look like they have a screenshot here, but I happen to have one somewhere down here. If you'll give me just a second. Again, I apologize for how hectic this is. As you can imagine, there's a lot of stuff hitting all at once and we didn't get a sneak preview or anything to prepare graphics so bear with me uh here is the graphic for corpses there's a little counter uh down below your mana cost so you have one corpse right here and those become a currency for other cards so you can see here rise up to five corpses as two two risen ghouls and once you use them the corpses are, are used up you go back to zero effectively and you need to make more corpses which of course ghoul charge and other cards themselves can do they're just going to keep chaining corpses together so you're going to have to manage a, a secondary resource there here are a few cards previewing corpses and how those work and again i'm going to go into cards in more detail in a future video this is just a preview but of course feel free to to get uh accustomed to the visuals and and expectations here for what death knight cards are gonna look like there's also another feature on these cards you'll see which are these runes death knights are gonna have a deck building feature where you can select what runes you want to feature in your deck you have frost runes which are blue unholy runes which are green and blood runes which are red and you can for instance have a three blood deck or you could have two unholy and one blood, or you could have three frost or one of each. And cards have restrictions. So corpse explosion here, you have to have two blood runes in order to run corpse explosion. So basically some really powerful cards might have a limiter built in where you have to focus in on say three blood runes in order to run this card, which means you can't run, of course, an unholy card in a triple blood rune deck but you have this kind of mix and match ability because some things are going to require no runes. Some will require one specific rune. Some will have two, as you can see here. And of course, a few will have three, it looked like as well. So just an extra deck building requirement. We'll talk about that more when we run through uh, Death Knights in a future video. We've also got here two different kinds of minion types. We've got Undead being added as a minion type and that will be retroactively added to, I think they said like hundreds of minions. There was a shot of things like uh, Blood Mage Thalnos having Undead, for instance. Uh, so some old cards, but also dual type minions. We've got Invincible, a new card here. Of course, the Lich King's mount. I'm trying to zoom in, but they just don't make it easy. Uh, he's gonna be both Undead and a beast. And there's some Undead dragons and so on. Like Frostworm here is an Undead dragon. So you can see examples of dual minion types. I guess those will just work uh, for synergies across both minion type so that's really cool patches for instance was one that was a demon and a pirate cookie was a murloc and a pirate they showcased as well we've also got a reborn here returning as a keyword if you'll forgive me as i try to zoom back out a little bit uh where did that go reborn as a keyword added to old car or uh, added to new cards but i think also maybe some old cards could pop back up who knows with reborn as well scourge rager here has reborn battle cry die so it becomes a 5-1 rager basically 
very very amusing that's gonna be great for for death knight as a class of course piling up corpses which you're gonna need and this was something we all expected i don't know how we knew that but we got it uh new keyword mana thirst this one's a little bit confusing but uh cards with mana thirst get more powerful once you reach a specified amount of mana you don't spend the mana for mana thirst you just have to be at six mana so once you get to six this gets a bonus effect the mana thirst six even though it's a three cost card if you play it later in the game it gets better kind of like omega vibes but at set mana cost instead of you know always at 10 and you can see the scaling on some of these isn't enormously huge but still um significant right doubling the stats of, of two drops for instance if played past turn six uh, that's pretty nice so also we've got the Sunwell. This is in the game right now. It's a neutral spell, the first collectible neutral spell, and it's a legendary and it fills your hand with random spells and costs one for uh, each other card in your hand. So hand locks out there are gonna be playing the Sunwell very early and doing crazy things. But of course, you know, there's a <laughs> downside because if your hand is full, you don't get a lot of random spells. So where's the balance point? Maybe maybe you want five and five for the Sunwell to feel exciting. This does not look like a good card to me. It looks more like memes and fun, but still pretty interesting. And it is holy. So Paladin in particular seems like a spicy place for the Sunwell to thrive. But log in right now and you can get that card. There's also a uh, new signature card uh, types this is like a full art card that also appears to be uh sort of uh like gray scaled here's an example of lorthamar theron uh who uh is you know kind of this bluish gray scaled out but full art with the text there hidden beneath i mean this is a new new card type even even higher rarity than diamond it was a little confusing how these are offered um Oh, oh, okay, so it's for March of the Lich King specifically that they have this style. It seems like it might change in each respective expansion. So it might be like yellow if it's a yellow themed expansion. So that's actually kind of cool. They're all going to look differently. That's neat. So these come in packs. Here, let's actually read. They can't be crafted or disenchanted. They can only be opened in packs or earned through special means. Total of 18 signature cards coming with Law, uh, uh, March of the Lich King, including 15 legendaries. Two will be available in the Tavern Pass, and three non-legendary cards will be earnable for free as a part of an event with the expansion launch. Uh, after the launch, 13 legendary signature cards can be opened in Standard Packs, Class Packs, March of the Lich King Packs, and so on. So yeah, you can get a few for free, and then get more in packs. Here is the pre-purchase bundle for this expansion. I'm not going to run through the details on that. Of course, feel free to review so there is that now there was one other thing not mentioned here which i'm sure will pop up in some patch notes eventually uh here they are <laughs> so there were a few other things pre-purchase lich king of course we saw the Sunwell. Uh, i have not even seen this a new cosmetic legendary hero skins uh feature impressive new come into play in hero power animations a unique hero trait and new voice lines they replace your hero frame and portrait with a completely 3d character model these look insanely cool wow oh, oh wow so kind of like diamond cards but awesome <laughs> and that looks great okay uh it will be available for pre-purchase as a part of a bundle on november 8th all right and here's the new event system that they showed off. So this is like, uh, you can click this from the main menu, replaces your quest journal, and there's like a new little event tab with some progress and stuff. Instead of doing just legendary quest lines, there's a nice new place for events to live, which this looks awesome. I think this is also live right now with patch 24.6, as I understand it. Also, we're getting the return of Knights of the Frozen Throne into the core set up until the expansion release. So, um... Log in right now, you can play Death Knights, Deathstalker Rexar in standard format. That's pretty insane. Also, some updates here to Battlegrounds, and I'm guessing duels as well. My god, my brain's gonna melt. Uh, the Jailer is a new hero. There you go, take a look. <laughs> There's some hero updates for Battlegrounds. Uh, new Battlegrounds quests, so that's fun. I like to see that. New Battlegrounds quest rewards. Again, I'm gonna link this all in the description below. I'm not gonna go into great detail on cards right now. There's just too much to get through, but there's a lot of new stuff for Battlegrounds, it looks like. New minions too. Man, go Battlegrounds. Getting a lot of stuff. Ooh, White Mane showing up, that's awesome. Vanessa Van Cleef in Battlegrounds is cool. 
The Walking Fort. That sounds cool. That dude looks like he's from Rostikon's Rumble, right? Uh, also, minion updates for Battlegrounds. There's a new Battle Bash. That's the new co our new uh, cosmetic uh, monetization in Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds Lobby Legends. Mercenaries updates. I'm going to scroll through these. Rattlegore coming to Mercenaries. That's fun. Arena updates. Dual class Halloween type uh, arena seems to be here with a bunch of expansions. New returning deck system we saw. No duels updates. Okay, so that was the main thing I was looking for here in the patch notes. But all in all, some crazy stuff coming, guys. And again, uh, I'm going to do a card review ASAP. We're going to do a Death Knight uh, preview ASAP. We're going to go through this Death Knight deep dive in a, in a future video, I think, as well. I think I covered the most important parts. So oh, here's a graphic for corpses again. And here's the runes. If you want to see the rune building in action, they don't. Oh, here we go. Here's a screenshot of the runes. Okay, perfect. See, there's two blood runes and perhaps one frost rune. So that you can add the one frost rune card if you need it or two blood rune cards. So there you go. We'll do more videos. I don't know exactly how they're going to look, but just stay tuned. Oh, this looks interesting. Man, I wonder, I wonder who might be participating in this sort of event. I don't know. That could be fun. We'll, we'll have to stay tuned for that one. Anyway, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. Stay tuned for more videos. Sorry for how hectic this was. I just wanted to get something out quickly so you guys could see all the news and enjoy talking about it and so on and so forth. Check the links for even more details if you feel like I skimmed over anything too much. Uh, that said, thank you. Love you. And until next time, game on.